So for this question, we're asked to integrate 2 all over 2x minus k all squared. We're integrating it with respect to x with limits that go from x equals k to x equals 2k. So how do we do something like this? Well, we should be familiar with this particular form of integral. That is, if you've got something of the form ax plus b, where a and b are constants, raised to the power n, n not equal to negative 1, then this is a standard result. What we get is ax plus b to the power n plus 1, we add 1 to the power, and we divide by that new power, n plus 1. But we have to multiply this by 1 divided by the a here. What we're doing really is the inverse of the chain rule. So if you're unsure of this, just check out my other videos on integrals that have this form. And we can now turn this integral into this form because if we just pull out the constant 2 in the numerator, we've got the integral then of 2x minus k all to the power minus 2, because we can bring that up to the top. We're integrating that then with respect to x, with the limits going from k to 2k. So when we compare this result to what we've got here, you can see that if we just take that 2 out, okay, then we add 1 to the power, negative 2, so we've got 2x minus k, Adding 1 to that power minus 2 gives us minus 1. Divide by the new power, negative 1. And we've, we'll divide also by the coefficient of x here, the 2. So I'm going to slip that 2 down there. And I'm going to insert square brackets just between our constant here and the function of x in here. OK. And so we've got our limits going from k to 2k. So cleaning this up, those twos cancel, giving us just 1. And I can bring out the negative 1 to the front, so we end up with negative there. And then I can rewrite this as 1 over 2x minus k. So we'll just put our limits in again in between these square brackets. So we've got 1 all over 2x minus k. Just finish that off there and our limits k to 2k. So it's just a question now substituting the 2k in and subtracting what we get when we put the k in. So I'll have the negative here outside and then what we're going to have is 1 over, and we're going to put that 2k in, so we get two lots of 2k, that's 4k, minus the k, that gives us 1 then over 3k. And we subtract what we get when we put k in, so it's 1 over 2k minus k, so that's 1 over k. What we've got here really is a third minus a whole one of 1 over k. And that's just going to give me minus 2 thirds. So you've got negative of negative 2 over 3k. OK? And obviously this gives us a positive value, 2 over 3k. Or you could see this as 2 thirds times 1 over k. Either way, what we've got then is that this result is inversely proportional to 1 over k. And that's what we had to show, that the result was inversely proportional to k. Alright, so hope you're able to see my method through there.